My name is Andrew Westmoreland, I'm from Union University, and today is welcome to our signing day. Man, that was yesterday's news. My name is Matthew Westmoreland, I'm from Millington Central High School. Today is a signing day for me, and I'm next stop, Union. Whoa, 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 whoa. They think just because they've been to the state seven times in their career, they get to do this intro. No, it belongs to Thomas Sellers Jr. of West Ham Media. Welcome to signing day coverage where we're going to let you see who's going to the next level and how they secure it. Welcome. Hi, coaches. Hi, it's Tom Sellers Jr. here with another signing day back on the campus of Brighton High School and Sagu. We heard about that school with Case Washington. So now we got another kid from Brighton going to Sagu, Mr. Hunter Lampley. Congratulations. Thank you. But you're going to for football, not baseball. Yes, sir. How did this come about? Uh, I just kind of, it just, my pastor pushed me. He was like, you need to maybe try it out. And he said, I know you love football. I, need you, I know you want to go. He's like, I, why don't you try sending an email and see what happens. And I texted the coach that I was like, hey, can we like push this through and see what happens? And it just kind of came about. And down to Texas. Yes, sir. Well, the road to Texas started way back when you were a little kid playing sports out here in Tipton County. Then you were Tipton County Bulldog, all that stuff. So you've been playing football for a little while. Yes, sir. So that's what that love of the game was? Mm -hmm. I remember growing up, I watched Aaron Rodgers. My, it was my fourth grade year elementary school. I remember I was playing baseball before that. And I remember watching Aaron Rodgers a lot. I can still remember like watching him. Packer? Yes. Watching them play, the, I can remember a Hail Mary through against the Detroit Rock Lions. Oh, Richard yeah, Rock. I think it almost touched the top of yeah, it. Yeah, it was like the record, man. I mean, I can just, it was a happy time. I can remember it just inspired me just watching them play. I was like, I want to be that good one day. Wow. And who knew one day you actually play quarterback for Brian? You didn't know you were going to play quarterback for Brian. <laughs> no, no, no. That your junior year, a lot of anticipation, a lot of optimism, K is going to do this, and K Cross, and we're going to, we're going to, and then he gets hurt. The next quarterback gets hurt. The next quarterback gets hurt. And then you, like you said, you walked into practice one day and said, hey, the quarterback, how did, how did you feel once you were met with that responsibility? I knew the best I could do was give what I've got. I mean, if I just went out there and complained, it wasn't going to get me nowhere. I knew that if I quit on my team, nobody would respect me, and I couldn't respect myself for it. And I knew that if I just like just let the season fall away, what am I representing as somebody that's supposed to be the future of this team at this time? Wow. That's a lot of deep thought for a young man to take on in such a moment. I'm, my first time seeing you, my first impression of you, this is late in the season. Y'all going through one of the worst seasons the team can go through. Y'all can just lay it out there and just quit. But I saw number 21 out there doing pretty much everything possible that he could do. And I could tell, I said, the quarterback is not in position. But then when I saw you on defense, I said, that's his call. That's his natural position. You were all over him. You, you fought against Dyer County. You played your heart out. And I walked up to you in the midst of the game. And you're looking at something to study him or something for your quarterback or something. And I just said, hey, 21, heck of a game. And you looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> going through your mind when the, the, the reporter walked over to you and just said, hey, heck of a game. Man, to me, all that matters is winning or losing. I mean, if I lose, I gotta find out what I did wrong. If I'm losing, I don't know how to describe it, but you just, it's like a passion in you. Like it burns, like it makes you so angry. And just when somebody walks up to me and is like, Hunter, you played a good game, it's like, no, I didn't. I didn't win. So it don't matter what I did if we didn't win. Now, that's playing the look you gave me, but I learned your character a little while later. The mom comes up to me and said, Thank you for saying that to my son. That meant so much to him. I like how the look he gave me. So when you reflected on what I was trying to tell you, what did you realize? That my, my, it feels nice to feel gratified that people do realize I'm doing something that I'm not giving all this effort just for no reason. And that people do recognize that I'm not quitting on them. I saw you were not quitting on your team. You were not quitting on yourself. That's what hit me. And then I go on through the rest of the year and I hear your name popping up in track, go to state, the 400 meter ain't the easiest race in the world. No. And you qualify for state minute six, got on the middle stand there. Just talk about what drives you. I know, we know you got natural athletic building, we can look at you, but what drives you? What drives me? Just 
It's just to be the best. That's really all it is. I mean, that's all I care about. I hate. I hate being worse than other people. I hate sucking. I, I don't. I don't like losing. Anything I do, I, I give it full throttle. I don't know what it means to go halfway. Gotcha. Gotcha. So your landing spot, and then that name is God. So you'll go all out for God. Hundred percent. Talk about that and why you made your choice. I made the choice because it really started my. I went to a youth camp over the summer, and as I'm going, we're deep in prayer and things and I'm just kind of sitting there and it kind of just hits me like I need to do this like I need to become a pastor I, this is what I know like it's just something that like in your soul like you can feel like calms you like thinking like imagining yourself doing it just knowing that's the one thing I can do and that's the one thing I'm good at. Right. Well, to close things out Bertie told me that coming into this year this was going to be it for football. You were ready to hang it up after you completed your season for the Brian Cardinals. But a blessing in disguise came when you got injured. You realized you had something that the tank. You still had passion for the game. So would you tell people out there that, hey, sometimes God gives you a hardship to put you where he needs you? Yeah, I would definitely say that. I'd say that God will put you through trials. He'll show you how low you can go for you to realize what you truly value in life. Right. You're going out there to play some football, it's going to open up a bigger platform for you to reach more people. And I remember you have definitely made an impact on this reporter here over the last couple of years. So I know that, hey, you're, you're going to be one that's going to fight for what's right and never quit. I, man, it's been an honor covering you, and I appreciate you sharing your sign today. Yes, sir. Thanks.